Let's play Power Blade. I'm Deceased Crab, and this is a classic platformer for the NES. A welcome change from really difficult platformers for the NES. All around a good gamer, use a boomerang to kill robots. After all, is that not the fate of all robots? To die by boomerang? Also, this plot mimics Tron slightly, because the main bad guy is called the Master Control Program. If you haven't seen Tron, don't worry, just watch this game. It's not the same thing. That's Nova, beefy guy in the tank top on the left. Very few guys can wear a blue tank top, crew cut, and shades, and, you know, not look stupid. I think Nova does a pretty good job of looking reasonable. Introduce all of your contacts. There are six of them. Their names do not matter. Their faces do not match up when you do meet them in the levels. And they serve only one purpose. Unlocking the boss room. That is what the ID cards do. This guy on the right, who's sort of talking at us, not with us, not giving us a good conversation. He's, uh... It looks like he's missing. I know it's supposed to be hair, but it looks like his head just cuts off and he's got a... Yeah, it looks like he's missing most of his head. That's what it looks like. We will never see him again. Not a whole lot of talking in this game after the intro. The game is simple. Beat all six bosses, then go to the final area, kill the master control program, and stop the evil robots that are trying to kill everybody. And watch your backside. You know what he is really saying, but they can't say that. This is a Nintendo game, so they say watch your backside. There's Nova and his boomerang. Now, when I try and throw a boomerang to kill people, it doesn't work. Go! But when Nova does it, it's great. See how he runs? How he holds his arms like that? I do that when I run. When I was younger, nobody taught me the correct way to run, so I learned how to run by watching the guys from Mega Man and Power Blade. It's important that you teach children how to run, or they're just going to make something up. And be like, hey, they know how to run. Maybe I'll just do what they do. Maybe I won't look totally ridiculous. No, you got to tell them. They should have a manual for running. I still don't know how you're supposed to hold your arms when you run. Alright, those stars give you more distance. And that boomerang we picked up earlier increased the damage of our boomerang. You can tell because it looks slightly different. Now we can fire two boomerangs! This is useful, question mark. Also, I can fire boomerangs in eight directions. If you don't know what directions they are, I can't really help you with that. Alright, now I've got an orange boomerang. Oh, I went the wrong way. Hamburgers will restore your health, just like in real life. I don't know which contact this is. If anybody can figure it out and let me know, tell me. Because they don't look anything like they do in the opening credits. Nor did he tell me his name. Nor do I really care what his name is. I'll be totally honest, the contacts in this game seems kind of forced. Like, alright, you need to talk to these guys to get the key. Alright, that's all. The grenades do that! They kill every enemy on the screen. Mostly useless. I usually forget to use them. Oh, wait a minute. How could I forget these guys? They're like, power-up storm. But I already have max power-ups. True, I could pick up more grenades, but I do not care to. 
Nova cannot fire boomerangs through walls. If only there was something that enabled you to fire through walls. And what is that funny looking thing in the status bar? You know, the one right next to the time. We'll never know. Ah, uh, boomerang action. Nah, you die. This is how real people throw boomerangs. Diagonally downward. This is why the game is called Power Blade. Because there's an awesome suit of armor you get called the Power Blade. You have three hits, and during this time, you can just, well, two hits. Run around shooting through walls, being destructive, annihilating everything. Yes, the Power Blade is amazing. If I'm lucky, I'll get to keep it. I can't restore any of those hits that the Power Blade suit took. Not unless I beat the level with the Power Blade. Which would be cool. I'd love to start the next level with the Power Blade. Maybe I'll manage it. Maybe not. Alright, here's some Robo-Bats. I don't know why they're here. This is a health container. And now I have one hit left on the Power Blade suit. That's a bummer. Take that, you space ape. Everything in this game is robotic. This is because you can't kill people in NES games. Only robots, aliens, and monsters. Here's a boss. The bosses usually aren't that tough. This guy wasn't. But I lost the Power Blade suit. You basically just bash them with boomerangs until they die. Some are harder than others. This guy wasn't. That's okay. We can live with an easy boss. Access permitted! Nova hacked the heck out of that sector. Next time on Let's Play Power Blade, Sector 2! Another place with ladders and maybe some moving platforms. I don't know. All the areas are sort of the same. But you know what? It's all good, clean fun, so why do I care? I'm Deceased Crab. Good night.